In this video, I'll be using group policy to configure Google Chrome to open web pages on startup. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Google Chrome settings via group policy. And here you can see the objective for this video. I will be configuring Google Chrome to open YouTube and also Google.com on startup. And here you can see all the policy settings and values that I will be using in this video. And now I'll begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy, so I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management, I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Chrome Settings, then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects and select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select Edit. And because I will be creating this policy for my domain computers, I will go to the Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, then Google, and I will select Google Chrome. And somewhere here we should have startup homepage and also a new tab page. I will click on it. And here we're looking for a few settings. And the first one is action on startup. I will click on it. I will enable this setting. For action on startup, I will select open a list of URLs. Then I will click apply and OK. And the second setting that we need to modify is URLs to open on startup. I will click on it. I will also enable it. And here I will click on show. And here we need to provide the URLs that we want to open. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page and I will just copy the values from here. I will copy the first one and then I will grab the second one. So the values are for google.com and also youtube.com. Then I will click OK, apply and OK. And that's basically it for configuring this policy. Now I'll close this window, go to details and for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the settings. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. It's called computers and it holds all the computers in my domain. So I'll click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared in the list here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Google Chrome and as you can see, it opens up the Google starting page. And that's because even though I created the policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. So to update it manually, I will go to my start menu, search for CMD, I will open it. And here I will type GP update, press enter, and now we need to wait a bit. And the policy update was successful, so if I close Chrome now and reopen it, this time you can see that it opens up YouTube and also Google.com. And that means that the policy is working just fine. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.